The Eric Johnson School at UT Dallas has somewhat of a unique history. We're a very young school, we're only 26 years old, founded by the founders of Texas Instruments as a small graduate research institution. So we have grown with high quality research to become a more comprehensive school of engineering. One of the aspects that excels uh, the Johnson School is we have a really strong interdisciplinary emphasis in our work. It's very hands-on supervision and that I would say is crucial and that has enabled us to be extremely successful. Location, location, location. UTD is in uh, part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and because of that we have at least 500 companies within a five mile radius. Texas is the state of energy and we are located in the heart of the FW Metroplex with many companies that are using energy in one way or another. Dallas is the largest city in the country without a major research university. So UT Dallas as a whole is on a mission to become a tier one research university. We work with the students and tailor our programs to meet the students' needs. We have a number of excellent research centers. One is our Texas Analog Center of Excellence, or TexAce, which was founded in 2008. I'm a part of the Texas Analog Center of Excellence, and a lot of what we do is develop research for consumer companies like Intel, and Texas Instruments, and Motorola for their future innovation. Our material science and engineering program began in 2008. That uh, department had the advantage of being able to move into a brand new research facility, our NSURL, Natural Science and Engineering Research Lab, which has state-of-the-art, world-class uh, research facilities, uh, clean rooms, laboratories for nanotechnology, semiconductor uh, characterization, manufacturing, etc. The Johnson School really allows you to be really hands-on with your research. We build, in our lab, we build motors and power electronics, uh, new versions at least monthly. So you're constantly being able to build and get good hands-on experience and not, a, not every university gives you that opportunity. We work in a collaboration uh, between departments uh, to make innovative products. I have developed a, a bio-inspired robot that looks like uh, the natural jellyfish. This is a biometric robot that is constructed with artificial muscle, carbon nanotube sheets based. It can be used for military and civilian applications. Currently I'm working on brain-computer interface. What I really like about our brain-computer interface system is that we're able to develop the whole project from the ground up. We create the hardware as well as developing the software. It's quite easy actually to get involved in research as an undergraduate in Johnson School. So one example is Mr. Thomas Broadfoot. He was showing his senior design project. I just walked by and I noticed that he had been working on energy harvesting units. I mentioned to him about what we do. We met two hours later and then he started working in my lab the next week. For my senior capstone project, I had the opportunity to work with both a professor and a local tech startup. I built a prototype and then presented the project on Senior Design Day. One of the real advancements that the Johnson School has had is the ability to kind of tie in with local industry. <laughs> Ways that we work with our local companies can be summarized by the four R's. Relevance, recruitment, research, and relationships. Because of our close ties with the industry and the fact that they give us input on what they need, it allows us to teach our students accordingly. And so when they graduate and they get recruited at these companies, they can hit the ground running. They are hiring our graduates. They are providing tremendous support for fellowships and scholarships, doing joint research. We have one of the largest internship programs in the state of Texas. Our attitude towards corporate relations uh, with the Ari Johnson School is one of flexibility. The quality of the research and the faculty here is excellent. And what really, for my mind, sets it apart is the attention to really being an industry-friendly place. Not only is the talent here, but the intent to work well with industry also. We also started in 2009 a program that we call UT Design, which replaces our existing Capstone Senior Design Project with an industry-sponsored Senior Design Project course. In many cases, uh, for that student, they do an internship between their junior and senior year at a company. They come back for their senior year. That company sponsors a UT Design Project in the same area. And at the end of the year, the companies will hire those students. I just recently heard from some students that completed their UT Design project this past semester that it was the real world experience that really connected them to what they believe they'll be experiencing after graduation.
UT Dallas was really positioned from the very start to become what I believe it's really becoming. And that is the MIT of the Southwest, or the Stanford. The Eric Johnson School at UT Dallas is in a period of tremendous growth. We are adding new degree programs, new entire new departments. We are constructing new buildings uh, as rapidly as we can, get them approved and constructed for our new programs. We're able to kind of establish new programs that basically are, are, are new and different from what you would have seen 20 and 30 years ago. How to become an engineer is practically how to become an artist. I think the progress and success of our first and second generation of graduates will be the best tool to, to show industry that it's a very wise decision to invest at UT Dallas. You combine good faculty with good students. You produce a winning team. It's quite an exciting time to be at UT Dallas.